we're going to learn how to use polarity to separate molecules. Polarity is a property of molecules. Nonpolar molecules are full of nonpolar bonds like carbon to carbon, carbon to hydrogen, all nonpolar. So oil, which is full of nonpolar bonds, is nonpolar. And it will not mix with something that is polar like water. Water is comprised of uh, two polar bonds in there in the right orientation. And so nonpolar things do not mix with polar things. And then by contrast, polar things actually interact with polar materials. And we call it like dissolves like or like moves like. So if you want to separate polar molecules, you need a polar solvent like water. And so we're going to use that today in the lab. Now we're going to use a column chromatography, which is going to be a small column that holds on to materials, or you're going to use a plate that can hold on to materials. It's comprised of a solid, usually silica gel. Our column is actually going to be a nonpolar material. Silica gel is kind of a, a polar stationary phase. And then we're going to pass through different solvents of different polarity. And the way that this works is, especially in the column chromatography, uh, the column material is made up of a bunch of nonpolar molecules, essentially an oil-like substance on the silica gel. And because of that, it will trap nonpolar molecules. And the dye molecules, the color compounds, the food coloring that we're going to put into it, have a lot of nonpolarity to it and allows them to stick to the column. However, when we wash through water, which is polar, it's going to pull off the dye molecules that have the most or the highest polarity to them. So that's going to allow us to separate out the colors based on their polarity. And once we bring in a more nonpolar solvent like isopropyl alcohol, it's going to break up all the interactions between the dyes and the nonpolar stationary phase and break them up in a way that allows the nonpolar dyes to come off. In this way, by using polarity, we can separate materials of different polarities.